In this video, we're going to learn how to convert units. We'll start with a very simple example that you could do in your head, but we'll look, look at all the details on how to do it, and then we'll use those details in more complicated examples. Let's start with converting four yards. to feet. We know the conversion factor is 3 feet equals 1 yard. If we divide that <coughs> conversion factor by 1 yard, <coughs> that would be 3 feet over 1 yard equals 1. <clears throat> On the other hand, if we took the conversion factor and divided both sides by 3 feet, we'd get 1 yard divided by 3 feet equals 1. Now what we do is take the original number that was given, the 4 yards, and multiply that by one of our two ratios. We know if we multiply something by one, we haven't changed that thing. So we can multiply by the conversion factor, the conversion ratio, that will allow the yards to cancel. That would be the three feet over one yard. Here we have a yard in the numerator and a yard in the denominator, and they cancel just like algebraic factors cancel. What's left says to multiply 4 by 3. We do that and get our 12. The only units left are feet, and so that says the answer is in feet, which is what we're looking for. This method is sometimes called the foolproof method because if we get the ratio upside down, here we would multiply 4 yards by 1 yard over 3 feet. We would see that nothing would cancel out. The yards don't cancel because they're both in the numerator. So that tells us that we did it wrong and we can fix our answer or fix our problem by uh, turning this ratio upside down and doing it correctly. Now let's do an English to metric conversion. Let's take 37 centimeters and convert that to inches. We can look up the conversion factor in the book and we'll find that there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch. That's exactly 2.54 centimeters in an inch. So now we know that leads to two conversion ratios. We can write down the number that was given, the 37 centimeters, and multiply that by the conversion ratio that will let the centimeters cancel. So that would be 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters. We know we've set it up correctly because this centimeter is in the numerator and this centimeter is in the denominator and they cancel. This problem tells us to take 37 and to, to divide by the 2.54. When you do that on a calculator, you get 14.5669 and the units would be inches. 
That's really too many digits for our needs, so we can round that off somewhere convenient here. Since 37 centimeters had two significant digits, we can round our answer off to 15 inches. Let's do a metric to metric conversion. We'll, we'll convert point 102 kilograms to grams. Kilo means a thousand. So we know that one kilogram equals a thousand grams. Write what's given. The point one zero two kilograms and multiply that by the proper conversion ratio, that would be one that allows the kilograms to cancel. So that would be a thousand grams over one kilogram. We know we set it up correctly because the kilograms cancel. What's left tells us to multiply so we multiply 0 0.102 by 1,000 and get 102 grams. 